guys welcome to the monday forecast so let's get right into it let's take a look at the euro and the us dollar what i'm seeing here i'm seeing a trend to the downside so i'm seeing a nice push pullback continuation really nice impulse pullback and then another continuation so what is really important is what happened after this impulse so we got a huge wick and after i see a huge wick i want to see either a range or i want to see price or what we can see is we can see the price reverse but in order to uh, to look for a continuation i need to see that range play out so right here my entry level would be this inside bar right here so this would be my entry level and i don't currently have an order on but if we start to have an ascending structure then i will definitely place a pending short order to get in on a short trade uh, and to get in on this downtrend so we also know that mondays and tuesdays are predominantly range bound so i'm being a little bit more careful than i would be usually but if i see some clean price action if i see as i said a clean ascending i'm definitely looking for a short trade and uh, here then we would get that range to play out so it would fit my plan what i'm also looking for is i'm looking for another push and then a retest of the most recent low or what i would really like to see is a large push and then a, a flag to a downside also what can happen we can start to form a descending structure get the reversal then look for a long trade or same thing can happen to the upside we can push to the upside and if we get a large impulse i would look for a flag we can start to form an ascending structure get a reversal look for a short trade or because it's monday and tuesday and this is the euro so we know that it can really range for a, it can range for a really long time so what do we know when we see a range we know that there are liquidity areas above and below the range so right here and we need to see what happens when the price reaches the liquidity area does it just push into it and retrace or does it continue with some nice momentum so yeah that's it for eu and now for aj so let's see what happened what, what is happening here this to me is range bound this to me is range bound price action so we had a really really nice downtrend really some large momentum really nice candles and uh, everything looked very very good at this point but then we had a pullback we broke the low retraced broke the low retraced left a large wick broke the high retrace, left a huge wick and we know that when we break the low retrace, break the high retrace and leave wicks to the downside and to the upside that is signaling to us a larger range so this is what i can forecast especially since it's monday and tuesday so predominantly range bound days and what i would like to see on ej is a nice push down look for a flag or a nice push up look for a flag maybe a clean ascending structure look for a reversal then a short trade or maybe get a nice clean descending structure look for a reversal and then a long trade uh, definitely something to to look to look out for and if we do get that larger range be careful of the liquidity areas so let me let me put them in be careful of those liquidity areas where the price can just retrace uh a price can just break into it and retrace so we need to wait for some more evidence okay so that is it for the euro pairs and now for uh, aussie and us dollar this is actually uh, looking good i do like this price action so for me personally we are we are trending correctively to the upside as you can see we have these pushes and then a deep pullback push deeper pullback push deeper pullback so it is looking like it's trending correctively to the upside which is a good sign and currently we broke the high and got some momentum but what happened at the top so we got a huge wick 
and after I see this huge wick I do expect a larger range. So personally for me if we do get a flag formation right here I would not be taking it as it's uh, it would be a larger flag. So for me personally it doesn't fit my plan. But what I would consider is same as an euro and US dollar I would consider a descending that we get an exhaustion of the move and that descending that taps the most recent high this would fit my plan since we are in an uptrend so i'm seeing that uptrend and if we do get that cleaner price action i would be looking for that descending but for the flag this is just doesn't fit my plan especially uh, since i know that mondays and tuesdays are range bound so taking any flags is not really uh, a good way to go for me personally and we're seeing this huge wick so we can expect a lar larger range something to keep in mind uh, what i would really like to see is a push up retest of the most recent high that would be high probability or a large impulse and then a flag i would really really like to see that also what we can get we can get an ascending and then a reversal look for a short trade or we can get a large impulse to downside from here look for a flag or we can get a descending structure look for a reversal and a long trade also a possibility and if we do get that larger range because of the huge wick something like this then we look at those liquidity areas so above and below and we look at how the price reaches them does it just break and retrace or does it break and continue so yeah that's it for au currently trending up i'm looking for a long trade i'm seeing if we get a descending to the entry point maybe it plays out uh, or if we just continue from here then i'm definitely looking for a break and retest trade to to get long so the last pair AJ uh, also personally for me this is trending to the upside I'm seeing this trend the the large pullbacks are a concern but uh, we know that the Aussie and the Japanese yen does trend correctively so this is a common characteristic for the pair and what I'm seeing currently is with that we broke the high retraced broke the high and then got momentum left a huge wick right here so if we do get a flag at this point i'm not i'm not entering it because i don't like this huge wick mondays and tuesdays are range bound so i know that we can just get something like this what i would consider i would consider taking a maybe an exhaustive descending trade to the to the most recent uh to the most recent high so that would be the entry level i would consider that but i need to see some clean price action I don't really like uh, so the, the the deeper pullbacks right here. Aussie and US dollar does look better, but I still classify this as trending up. So if we do get clean price action, I would consider taking a long trade. But as I said, taking a flag from here doesn't fit my plan. I'm expecting that larger range. Actually, so we know that. We need to be careful if we do get that larger range about the liquidity areas as on the other three pairs so really same story and what i would really like to see i would like to see a large push up and then a break and retest trade or a large push and then a flag that would be very very good or if we start to get exhaustive moves and ascending look for a reversal and a flag to go short or we can also get a large push down then look for a flag or if we start to get a descending structure look for a reversal up and then a flag to go long and we need to be careful in this case because it's then showing us this this uh, range right here so this impulse from a reversal really needs to be large and we need to see some clean or I need to see some clean price action. Okay, so that's it. That's it for the forecast. Um, I'm being a little bit more patient currently 
seeing what what will happen seeing if we continue trending to the upside or if we start to trend down and yeah i'll see you tomorrow